So what are your thoughts on the future? Because I'm, I'm quite interested in as we as we move towards ultra digitalism, that we're going to have this need for hyperhumanism. And, and I've got this, this hunch that we're going to need to balance things out and we can't become so ultra digital that actually we can't balance hyperhumanism. What do all of those things mean for people who have high functioning anxiety? How do they shift into this very digital focused world? And how do they manage working from home, hybrid working, virtual communication? How does all of that fit? With high functioning anxiety, the one thing that I put into the book is about sensitivity and about how as we are high functioning, we, we are very sensitive. We pick up on things. We notice things in people. We can read like different things that are going on. And often we then personalize it. And when we're sitting at home and we're hybrid working, we need to be very mindful of that. Because if we get an email, if we are communicating through text, if we are communicating via Slack, we need to be mindful of, hang on, when I'm reading something, what's going on for me? What am I noticing? And what's coming up for me? So again, giving yourself that space rather than thinking, oh God, I've upset this person. So just being more conscious of the narrative. But I think it's also about having boundaries because yes, you want to be around people. So when you are going into the office, you're connecting with people, you're getting an idea of how people, how people are. So when you are messaging online, you're connecting, it's a very different space. But I think also anxiety is going to evolve as well in how we're connected with different people. So when you are working from home and then you're going into the office, you will naturally start to feel a little bit more anxious because you're like, oh God, I need to be around people and and what 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 are they going to be thinking about me? So we're going to have a different type of anxiety that 